this portion of the Smart Notebook 11 Level 2 training is focused on using the internet browser that's built in the Smart Notebook. We're going to show you how to insert the browser, show you how to select it and resize it, and also intera interact with websites using some of the buttons that are built in. So we're going to move to the next page. We're going to take a look at a, this page that already has the browser built in. It is going to a website. Um, this is how it's going to look. Let me just cover the buttons. It's just like any other browser. You have a back button, a forward button. You have this button here that will bring up the on-screen keyboard. Here's your address bar, so you can select that and start typing in a new web address. You also have the refresh. They call it reload, but you refresh. And then you have your toolbar here, the double arrow. That simply will just move the toolbar from the top and bottom. You can press that if you have a preference for that toolbar. The pin buttons here let you select a home page within the internet browser. So let's move to the next page. It's a blank page going to show you how to insert the internet browser. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to the top toolbar. I'm going to insert. And I'm going to choose out of my list here, Internet Browser. Once I do that, it inserts the Internet Browser. By default, it will go to the Smart Help page on this section. Now, if you want to choose the uh, Internet Browser, you can just press on one of the edges and you'll get the, the uh, blue rectangle dash lines come up with all the properties. Uh, when you do get that, you can grab the right-hand corner and you can resize the internet browser. So I'm going to click out of that. If you want to move it, just grab one of the ends and move the browser where you want it to go. So I'm going to resize it, make it a little bit bigger, and I'm going to show you how the little buttons work down on the bottom. So here's my little help screen. I want to go to a web page. I can press my keyboard icon and use that. I can select my web address and I'm going to go to CNN.com. CNN.com comes up. Here's my web page. It's a live web page. There's no need for me to go outside a smart notebook. I can scroll right through. Every time you open the notebook file, it's going to update that web page. So here's CNN.com. And again, I can go back and forward, refresh. I'm going to show you the pin button. So if this is a page I'm going to go back to over and over again, I can press the pin. Not the one with the green arrow, but just a plain pin. I'm going to press that. That pins this page. It almost makes it like a home page I can quickly go back to. So if I were to go to other pages, for example, Winter Storm, and then from here, if I brought up my keyboard and decided to go to ESPN.com, And then for within there, if I pressed on soccer, went to another web page, if I wanted to return to that pin page, rather than hitting back four or five times, I hit the pin with the little green arrow. And it takes me right back to my CNN.com. So there's your buttons. We've shown you how to insert the internet browser, resize it, move it around, and also how to use these little buttons down here on the bottom. Again, back, forward, your pin buttons your keyboard, your address bar, your refresh, and your button to move the toolbar up and down. And this concludes the section on Internet Browser.